This tutorial shows you how to work with templates in JasperSoft iReport Designer. A template is a report that's typically empty of data that's used to assist in the creation of other reports. This can provide some consistency to your project as well as productivity. This report we're looking at was built using one of the standard templates, blank letter. And it consists of a company name, some graphics, and a page number. It also has several of the bands removed. And this is a typical layout that I might have in a whole set of reports. So the benefit of a template is I'd like to define this once. And for each new report I create, I'd like to create it based on this image here. Now a few things that I like to do in working with the templates are first to make sure that you can see it using the preview feature because we don't have any data we have to check this when no data option here and make sure that it's set to all sections no detail. Another thing that I like to do is to make sure that the report name which defaults to the file name the file name is simple template using this camel case syntax but I've given it a report name that's a little more um, in line with the other templates in the wizard. I also like to put a variable in here for the report title. And I'll give it an initial value that's going to queue the users into or something that they have to provide. Something like that. And I'll drag it onto this title band here and give it a similar font. Okay, now I can do a preview. And you can see the variable is rendered. The report that I've saved here, I use the name Simple Template, and I've put it into a folder that's known to the iReport Designer tool. In this case, we go to the wizard templates and we see my folder of JasperSoft templates. Now I also took a screenshot of this preview and I saved it as a file named simpletemplate.png and that's mapping exactly to the file name of the Jasper report. And that's so that when I go to create a new report I can see both the more readable name here versus the file name and I can also see a snapshot. So when we're looking at these thumbnail images, it helps to have a good thumbnail. If you don't provide it, you'll get a question mark here. and It won't be clear uh, unless you can key off of the name exactly the template that you're selecting. Some of the other things to do with a template. Um, because this is going to work with the wizard, you can create several groups here. And I'm going to call these groups very plainly group one. through four. And these groups are going to work with the wizard to automatically fill in information if it's available. Now there's no data so there's no need for me to provide any type of expression for these. And they're created as well. There's some specially encoded values for working with those groups and so what I'm going to do is to drag some static text onto here for each of the groups and the static text needs to be called G1 through G4 label I'm going to do a similar thing with some text fields. These are going to produce some of the data. It's in there, so I'm going to use four text fields. So we've got the group name in there, and the name could be one of the fields in the group by expression that you're working with, and the field itself that's going to be the actual, uh, the actual data that's put in there. So for example, a group of country, the label would be country, and the field would be USA or whatever your your field is going to be. Now the fields also have to have a particular syntax where they're called G1 field through G4 field. You would typically change this guy to G2. You would typically format these differently because these are different heading levels, but 
for the purpose of this video, um, my report isn't going to feature any groups. Um, so they're going to be uh, kept formatted similarly to uh, each other. Now, you can do a similar thing with the column headers. And what I do with the column header is I bring in a static text value here. And you have to call that uh, detail make that a text field. I'm going to call that quote detail field. And over here in the column header, I'll use detail label. And I'm going to bring it a little closer to that, that value. Same thing with detail field. Okay. So I, I have a similar report here. I can preview it, and it, and it looks good. Now this has been this has been saved. So using this report, now I go to New, and you can see my template is over here. I'm going to launch the report wizard. I'm going to call this template called Simple Bonus Report. I'm going to dig out a query from my workbench over here. This is displaying some fake employees with a list of bonuses. And it'll take everything, no grouping. And it's finished. And that was pretty productive because what you can see is that it's laid out all of the details, uh, bands over here. And so when I preview it, now I might refine that template a little bit to do something special with this header. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't want this type of, of name with the underscore in there. But very quickly, I was able to create that template. And you can have templates for, for many different things. Um, so in terms of productivity, it's quite good. Uh, even better, though, is the consistency, that I don't have to measure out the same type of rectangles or remember to put on something like this page footer. So templates provide you with a really productive way to get things done in Jasper Reports, iReport Designer.